It's been my absolute privilege to serve on the board of Learning Equality for the last seven years. I've seen them create many transformative solutions uh, by partnering with communities in uh, offline uh, areas. And as a board member, I got to see all the metrics. I got to see the learning outcomes. But the first time I got really a front row seat to how learning equality partners with the communities themselves, why those numbers are so successful, I would say, is when we all joined together in San Francisco for a hackathon. And learning equality brought into a room together from two different refugee camps in Kenya, the technology directors, the educators, and the people actually doing the work on the ground. As well as, from learning equality side, education experts, people with PhDs, people who know how to do research, and finally, people like myself, ML researchers, software engineers, computer scientists. So we're all in this one room together, and we all get to kind of figure out how can we all push together to solve this one problem. So I was talking to these people who are using learning equality products on the ground already, and they were talking about the transformative experience that that was, and how much impact it was already having. So we're over there, like, on the co-lab, hacking away, and at the same time, the, the folks that we're actually uh, trying to work with are telling us, hey, this is working, this is a great idea, and more importantly, like, mm, this is not really solving the problem that we have. So we got to iterate on that feedback, and the outcome of that workshop was uh, the product that launched last month. For me, that was a transformative experience. I'm so grateful to be here tonight and to be a part of this organization.